Uh, Jim Thrift, I'm here with Mike Stewart at uh, Gracie Jiu Jitsu, Maryland. I want to congratulate Mike, who just uh, recently uh, got certified out of the Gracie Academy as an instructor. Mike is also a House of Gracie Purple Belt. And just want to say congratulations and uh, thanks for having me here at Gracie Jiu Jitsu, Maryland tonight. Thank you, man. Welcome. And, uh, you know, Jim is a fourth degree under Grandmaster House and soon to get his black belt. Um, we just wanted to talk for a minute because. Sport Jiu Jitsu has gotten so popular, and uh, the reason we have our home is Grandmaster Helson and uh, the creator of Grace and Jiu Jitsu, Grandmaster Elio, uh, is because you know we see this trend. I think it's it's so common. People nowadays hear Jiu Jitsu and they think, look around, this is all these is, is ground fighting, 100 percent, right? But they don't realize that we just spent half the class on standing techniques, like punch defenses, how to get out of a guillotine. Every fight starts from standing. So we have to master these first. We actually spend more time in Helsing's back curriculum on standing up than we do on the ground. So yeah, we're just trying to keep it, you know, trying to keep it as, as close to the source as we can, bring out Helsing as much as we can and other members of the Gracie family and preserve the street effectiveness. Anyone, some of the guys you've trained with uh, will, probably, will probably agree in names that everyone has heard. Yeah, I've, I've been fortunate enough to train with five of uh, Elio's sons include some of the old-time Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu masters like Kaiki, Jacare, uh, Pedro Sauer. And you know, we're getting ready to show a technique, which I, I think is a technique. I did not create this technique. It was a technique that was taught to me by my instructors. Um, but it's a technique you don't see used today in MMA, uh, UFC type tournaments. Um, but you're going to see from this position, this is a position where a lot of people have a lot of victories, a lot of fights are stopped. Um, just to get back to, to the Gracies, you know, the main thing here is, is always self-defense, and although this move can be used in an MMA-type environment, this is a self-defense move. So, I'll go ahead and show the move. So, the scenario here is, is going to be the, the cross mount, and Mike's going to have, have the top mount here. So, in this scenario, a lot of fights are stopped here. People, they just don't know how to defend it but it's actually an easy thing to defend. The first thing is, A, don't get stuck in this. You should never get in this position, but if you are in this position, this is how to get out of it. What I want to do, if this is an MMA event, I want to keep my head in. You're not allowed to hit the back of the head, so depending on where the strikes are coming, if they're coming this way, I'm going to turn and put my head in this way. Okay, I'm going to use the rules to my advantage. But on this one, I want to try to come down and get a gable grip. In most cases, you're not going to get it on the first try, just reaching. I'm going to do a little bump. At that point, I'm going to grab very low and I'm squeezing. I'm pinching very tight. So right now, I've got Mike's leg and his arm trapped. Can you get your arm out of there? It's stuck. At this point, watch my feet here. I'm going to come up on my toes, get my heels as close to my butt as possible, and I'm going to bump as high as I can go. As I pull, I go into a fireman's carry, I'm getting very heavy. So right now I'm pulling on his arm, I'm pulling on his leg, I'm driving my back and my neck into his side. And if my arm cannot come out freely, I'm going to have to shift my hips, bring my knee inside his knee, and then pull my arm out. At this point, I'm still heavy. I'm still holding this arm very, very heavy. I'm going to spin over, under the neck. From here, you can see I'm under the neck. Cinch in, and then I submit. Okay, we'll do that one more time. Let's go to a different angle. Okay, so you can see it again. I want to try to get this grip. In most cases, you're not going to get it on the first try. So you do a little bump, grab low. Try to grab down by your waist. So at this point, get up on your toes. I'm going to arch. As I arch, shoot the head out. Go into a fireman's camera. Stay heavy. Get my hand free. I'm staying heavy at this point. Come around. Shoot under the neck. Use your to the bicep. Finish. Now there's one more submission from here I want to show you. Same scenario. Up against the arm. At this point, instead of going for the neck, I'm going to come around. Elbow to the floor. Go to the wrist. Arm bar. So, self-defense. For the cross now. Thanks, Mike. Perfect.